what's up y'all it's your girl akaya i'm back with another video welcome back if you're tuning in for the first time hey what's up girl listen be sure to like comment and subscribe on my video and just go along the journey with me i just recently moved and i'm super excited to be just vlogging you know everything that i got going on so let's get into it so all right, if you saw my first video, then you probably already know where I moved to by now. If you haven't, I moved to the DFW area of Texas. So, yep, I'm in the Dallas area. I'm super excited to be here. Um, it has definitely been a long time coming with finally like making the move and deciding to like, you know, what destination we wanted to move to. And so this is where we settled on. Um, for now, this was a great um, opportunity for us to be here. We have business here, amongst other things that we have going on that you'll see along the way. But I ain't gonna lie, being here, like there are definitely differences, you know what I mean? Like, so for sure, um, the food, I would say is like one big difference. Like, how can I put it? It's not nasty, but I'm glad I could cook. If that makes sense it's like i'm glad i could cook right like because i might not all the time want like something like brisket barbecue or barbecue flavored or something along those lines and they have places where you can get like all kinds of food you know there's some beautiful restaurants here that of course i'll be showcasing along the way um but you know you will always run into some form of a barbecue spot in texas that's just what it is uh, me being from chicago you know we just our food is just the best don't argue with me it is the truth it is just the best so because of that you know we have that melting pot of so many different kinds of foods that we can choose from and so again luckily for me i can cook so it wasn't a deal breaker for me i already knew getting into it like okay yeah i'm, I'm gonna be cooking so yeah and i am drinking i love this stuff it is so freaking good so many different flavors um but yeah so that was of course like a difference that i knew that i was gonna have to get used to um something that i'm happy about it is 26 degrees in chicago right now and it is 54 degrees where i am right now like do you understand how big of a difference that is like well for me because i hate being cold so i will take 54 over 26 any day and i'm sure the snow is coming any day and i won't be there for it so i'm happy about that <laughs> i did take a few things that i need to just kind of have in my like chicago care kit uh, while I'm here that I just know that they wouldn't have here in Texas. So let me get into that and um, just kind of show you some of my favorite things that if I'm moving out of town, I'm going to have that I'm going to need for myself and, you know, even for my guy. Um, and you let me know, you know, if you're a person who moved out of town, like what were some things that you took from your hometown that you was like, I got to have it. They're not going to have it. I know they're not going to have it. So let me get it before I go. All right. So for me, baby, let me show you. Number one. Okay. If you know, you freaking know. All right. This is 
well we used to call it pity candy but it's fruities and chews like when i tell you this is the best candy i mean just growing up honey like we used to go to the candy store like it was always one on the end of the block or somebody's mama selling candy from the crib and you go and get you some penny candy like i mean if you ain't had that experience i don't know what to tell you but this candy right here baby i mean nothing like it ain't nothing like no fruities ain't nothing like sitting here doing your work on your computer doing your homework whatever you're doing and you just pop you a couple of these fruities while you're working it's just the burst of flavor i couldn't live without it i'm not even a heavy candy eater like i'm not a heavy candy eater like that but this was something that i knew they weren't gonna have and if y'all have it and i'm wrong cool let me know where so i don't have to have it shipped to me because i stopped at the warehouse in chicago if you in chicago you know the candy warehouse i had to stop there and grab this before we left it was no other way it was no other way so that is one um that i had to grab but again like i said i'm not like a heavy candy eater but that's just something that is just it, it just makes you feel good so i had to have it but i love like chips um which is kind of like my little like snack downfall now i will say i couldn't grab no chips to go because the chips that i love y'all messed them up whatever company took over the vintners crunchy curls please put it back put the recipe back the way it was i had some and it tastes like dish soap like i don't even understand like what did y'all do i don't know but I would have grabbed a case or two of those had they been right. But they ain't been right ever since y'all took over. So have a conversation with each other, please. So that you can stop playing with my childhood. But yeah, so I didn't get no chips to bring back. But by all time, snack love. I did bring them. Let me show y'all what I got. Pickles. Y'all. If you know me, you know, like, I have to have pickles. I freaking love pickles. I had to tell my boyfriend, like, when we first started, like, talking or whatever, I don't know what it is, but, like, when I eat a meal, and I don't know if anybody else is like this, but when I eat a meal, it's like, my meal doesn't feel complete until I have, like, a bite of something, like, vinegary. I don't know why i don't know what that is like i can have an amazing meal but it's something about having like a pickle slice or like a cucumber with italian dressing or something along those lines i have to have something like that to like seal the deal of my meal like if i eat dinner like if i eat something that has like a vinegar type taste like that then i'm good like it, it seals it for me i don't need nothing else i'm not hungry anymore like it's so weird like Doctors, if you got some feedback on that, let me know. But yeah, so I got this. Now this one is hot. No, it is sweet and sour. I'm actually not really like a sweet pickle kind of girl. But my dad was like, oh, these are actually good. Like this. So I was like, all right, I'll try them. However, karma, that's not all. Hold on. Hold on. Let me show y'all the real ones. Y'all see how happy I get when I mention these? These right here. You see that? These, baby. You ain't gonna get these at the grocery store. You're not gonna get Maria's. Ain't that the name of who made these pickles? Who made these? I could have sworn to say Maria. Oh, uh, that's a Maria sweet and sour. You're not gonna get these. Now, these are not sweet and sour. These are hot sour, okay? Hot sour. You're not going to just roll up nowhere. Walmart. What's it out here? Albertsons. You're not going to get that in Texas. This goes in the car. <laughs> like, I put this in the sandwich bag. Baby, I'm outside. Like, this right here, it goes with me. Anyone who knows me, who loves me in Chicago, if you come visit me, because I've been getting text messages and calls. If you come visit me, please stock me up. Stock me up. Thank you. Thank but yeah, that is just a short, like, little haul of things, like, from my hometown. Okay, 
so i got a few things from amazon um just to get things going in my apartment so i've been here but i haven't fully like started like full-on decorating yet like i did some stuff in the kitchen of course because it's like you you know it's an essential area the bathroom bedroom but i am still working on my living room i had a blue sectional before we had a loft in chicago and so we had a really nice blue sectional it was beautiful amazing right but at the same time when you get something like that it is like that's the focal point and you have to build around that so this time around i didn't want to do that so what i decided to do was go with a really nice like beige or tan or cream type colors something that gives more like earthy neutral natural as well as like um buildable so i wanted something along those lines where i could put black with it if i want i can put browns with it if i want i can just switch up the colors if i want to now, I said that I was going to take my time on decorating this. Not that it's going to be something over the top, but I just want to take my time and choose a certain pieces that I want to go with this time. So I got some stuff to get going on that. But before we get to that, I found a few cute items for myself. Of course, you know, you can't go shopping without getting yourself a little something. Boom, A4 Akai. Look at this, baby. Amazon. See the A? So cute. I freaking love it i also got some sunglasses too so i found like a dupe of the prada sunglasses it's sunny in texas okay it's 26 degrees right now in chicago y'all be asking me why i left it's 26 degrees i'm not with it and so i got these cute things to go along with me when i'm out and about minding my business cute right super cute so those are just a few little things that I found for myself. Okay, y'all. Let's get into this Amazon haul. So, I have some more stuff coming today, but let's get into what we got right now. Yes. All right. This may seem like something simple. This is a cover for my balcony so this will go across like the the fence area or like the rotted area um it just gives privacy but i mean hopefully it block a little wind too and all right okay hold on what we got what we got what we got Okay, I think I know what this is, but let's open it together. Is it just this way? Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, so I have a couple of um, like vases that I'm gonna get. And so this is just like some cute little decorative like filler, of course. So pretty. To go inside once they arrive so this will go inside of the cuvee like again i think you kind of can see like the color scheme that i'm going for and i love that amazon sent like that i got like the assortment like i don't know i thought i was just getting these but it actually came with these as well which is that's cute that's cute and then this so i can either like kind of you know Put a cute little assortment together or just use one or the other and then have them if i want to switch it out so i love that so and again all this stuff will be linked on my amazon storefront if you are looking for some new pieces now this one i'm excited about okay i'm excited your girl got the fire table indoor outdoor tabletop fireplace this is real flames okay so i'm excited about that but that's not really why that's not like the like big reason that i'm excited i'm excited to sit on my freaking balcony and just make s'mores like it's that time of year you feel me like i'm just gonna be sitting out here roasting marshmallows like for real man of mine you get what i'm saying like i love that i love that for me so that is what i'm gonna be doing 
And the really nice thing about this fire table is that they didn't stop there with just like the fire table. They give you in this particular one, and these expand, they give you the, um, the like the marshmallow roasting sticks. And baby, they give you a board. You can do a whole s'mores charcuterie board right here. Like what? Get out. And then the table itself is all black. With a little bit of chrome on there in the middle. Hold on, I'll take it out. There's something. Oh, I'm breaking it. Hold on. There we go. All right. So you got the table here. You put this in the middle like that. And then this will be like the two glass things that go on the sides and then you see like this little cloth right here in the middle so they give you an extra one as well but i want to see like where maybe i have to look on amazon to see if i can get extras because baby i'm gonna be using this thing and you can pour like some um alcohol and then it'll flame up for you i freaking love it i'm so excited i will show y'all when i get ready to use this i'm gonna show you how i set up my s'mores table too because i'm ready look they give you look the little cute little knife i guess if you want to do cheese okay and then this is another part of it like yes they give you everything so i really like this the brand is called rosado if i'm saying that right rosado tabletop fire pit and it comes with a manual that i'm sure i won't read but i got that and ooh, this one heavy hold on all right Okay, let's see what this is. Oh, I think I know. Okay. Wait, it's two boxes. Child, I gotta put it back down. Ugh. The struggle. All right. I got open this. Hold on, y'all. There we go. There we go. I'm gonna pack this up, y'all. Okay. I ain't that protected. All right, y'all. Okay. This is what I thought it was. So, these are going to be. My boyfriend is definitely putting these together. This is going to be the things to put your shoes in, like the stackable uh, clear containers to put your shoes in these are actually for him because he got all the sneakers and so he definitely needs something to put all his shoes in and then we got them in black i thought the black was gonna look better than just getting the clear ones so i think i'm right but yeah we're working on like organizing the closet a certain way you know because it's two of us and so cha he got probably more clothes than me and shoes like i got a lot of stuff but uh, he gave me a run for my money so like we gotta figure it out so, girl i want your man to be fresh but shout he got a lot of stuff all right so this is it's a mat for the bathroom hope it's gonna be it's gonna flatten out but it's super simple it's supposed to be really absorbent and it just says home on it i like it we got that in <sighs> all right okay so these will be the vases that i ordered to go for the stuff that y'all saw earlier 
um, the little decor to go inside of them. Okay, so they came like really protected. This was on top. Oh yeah, I like that. This is very, very cute. Good material. Then I got a taller one. Yes. Look at this. Oh yeah. And then when I put those colors inside of the, um, you saw like the feathers and all of that. Once I put that inside, it's gonna be cute. I'm not worried. It's gonna be so cute. What else did I get? No idea. Oh. These are the pillow covers that I have no pillows for. I need to get pillows. Oh, this is a really good material. I don't know if you can see, but this is like a really good material. And then these are gonna be what I put the pillows in. But I am surprised these are not flimsy at all. At all. And lastly, oh, I'm excited about this. So I'm going to put this in my plants so that I have like that lit effect when it's nighttime. You know, you want something real nice to kind of still give a little ambiance. That's what this light should be for when I stick it into the plant. All right, y'all, I want to work on some of this stuff and I'll be back. Okay, so this is what our closet is looking like right now. Like stuff everywhere. And then we're gonna color code and all that good stuff later with the clothes. But right now I'm just trying to focus on getting, you know, like all of this stuff together. So I bought these organizers here for like his many, many, many t-shirts. Um, and so might even need to get another one, but like all of this stuff like down here, see like we gotta figure that out and then i haven't even fully begun on my side yet but this is like where our like colognes and perfumes and all of that and i'm sure I'm gonna change it it's just kind of like what it's looking like right now so uh, i'm thinking right here though like right here in the middle so i'm gonna move all the less like move all the stuff out of the way and then see like if that's gonna be moved like the Barbie. I'm a dog, but I still wanna party. Pink felt like I'm ready to bend. I'm a 10, so I pull in a cat. Like Debbie. Space All of the Barbies is pretty. Damn. All of the bodies is bad. Yeah. Girls. And we can play tag. Red. Did he spank me when I get bad? I'm in LA, Rodeo Drive. I'm in New York, Madison Ave. I'm a Barbie girl. Pink Barbie dream house. The way can be killing shit. I'm yelling out like the scream house. Y yelling out, we ain't selling out. We got money, but we ain't lending out. We got bars, but we ain't billing out. And that pink Ferrari, we pillin' out. So Tay, bring the vibe, billin' out. So cold, we just chillin' out. Baby, yelling, yelling, yeah, yelling out. It is Barbie, bitch, if you still in doubt. And I'm bad like the Barbie. I'm a dog, but I still wanna party. Pink felt like I'm ready to bend. I'm a 10, so I pull in a can. Like, Gabby, Stacy, you keep out. Okay, so we got the the shoe boxes. That light is the light of the Lord, like beaming. Sorry, he's definitely gonna need way more boxes than this. Like, child, he's taking up the closet. Like, we need two of them. So, oh my God, we gonna get it figured out though. Like, but y'all fellas. Mm -hmm. 